Happy New Year! Well, it's close enough. Today, I thought I'd talk about a man lift to lift you up in time for the new year. New Year's comes but once a year. New Year means a fresh new start by looking at the past to give some perspective on the future. Many years ago, Grove Crane Company operated a division that was called Grove Man Lift. This division manufactured scissor lifts, boom lifts, and mast lifts. These pieces of industrial equipment were indispensable to many users. Interior ceiling heights had grown beyond the practicality of using a ladder to change a light bulb. Now machines could raise up beyond the ladder's reach in the middle of an exhibit hall so we could replace a single burned out light bulb. Scissor lifts were immensely popular for this application as the hall was empty and you could drive the scissor lift directly under the burned out bulb, raise up, and change the bulb quickly and easily. But what if your burned out bulb was over the top of an exhibit? Scissor lifts are great for working directly above the base platform with only extending an arm's reach of the operator beyond the base platform. Well, <laughs> that machine isn't going to work as the exhibit has the open clearing too far away from the bulb for the operator to reach. So, on to the next option, a boom lift. Oops, <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> we only have a narrow passageway between the booths and the boom lift needs to be a fair distance away to raise up over the booth to reach that light bulb. It has a fixed boom and works at various angles to reach the correct height. But in this case, the exhibit is too tall. Now with the boom lift, the boom would crash into the exhibit to reach the light bulb. Nice try, but still a fail. So now what? Is there a style of a lift that will go up vertically in a narrow space and extend over horizontally. Well, it just so happens that Grove Man Lift made the Toucan Lift. This style lift can maneuver down a narrow alleyway and turn incredibly sharp to maneuver those tight turns into the exhibit hall aisles. Toucan lifts also rotate on their base, unlike the scissor lift or boom lifts. Toucan lifts are mast lifts. This means the lift goes up vertically over the base, similar to a scissor lift, but the operator's platform can pivot over the exhibit to get under the burned out light bulb. <laughs> Pretty neat. Now we have a way to fix our light bulb while the exhibit is going on. Unfortunately, we have some bad news. Grove sold off Grove Man Lift in the past, but not before Joel was able to make a die-cast model of a Toucan Man Lift, which I will review now. After the review, we will talk about the future. And here we go, guys. This is the 125th scale die-cast metal model made by Joel many, many years ago of a Grove Man Lift toucan it is all die cast metal except for a couple of plastic parts it has uh, plastic wheels and rubber tires on it this uh, chain piece here is also a plastic piece the piston sleeve is plastic but the piston itself is metal and this little bar here which is just an extra safety bar is plastic the little control levers are plastic up here and there you can see that little control panel is plastic the rest of this thing is actually all die cast impressive right the base is die cast it's screwed together it has steering you can see how the steering goes so that it has an incredibly tight uh, turning radius on both sides 
It has Joel, and that is right there, cast in, and then scale 125 is cast in. The bucket and the operator's platform is also die cast. It's fully functioning, and I'm going to adjust it here. But you can see how the piston raises it up. It goes way up like that. It goes way up, and then it'll come back down. They did a really, really cool job making this piece. And back in the day, they did a whole lot more die cast than they do today on models. Today, there's more and more plastic than there ever was. But you can see how this thing rotates. Now, just like the real ones, it does not rotate 360 degrees. The real ones only go about that far, just a little bit past 180 degrees. That is a stability issue for them. If they were to go all the way around, it would be a problem. So they keep it that way. That way the counterweights are all within its ability to keep the machine from falling over. And that is just fine. On the back, you can see it has a little bumper here. It might be a little hitch, but there's nothing, you, no hole in it, so you couldn't actually hitch anything up. It has Grove cast into this big counterweight on the back, and then they tampoed over it a little bit of uh, paint in black so that you could see the Grove. It has little decals here, 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 and here, denoting the directions it can go. They're just little arrows. It has Grove man lift and toucan tampoed right there. It has toucan on the uh, operator's platform plus has grove man lift on the arm right there just like the real ones also on the front of the operator's uh, platform it has grove man lift we go around to the other side again grove man lift two can grove man lift two can the graphics are outstanding especially when you consider this thing is gosh 30 some years old now let's back up so we can raise it up and there it is, fully extended. It, you can see on each mast section here, one, two, three mast sections go up, and then there's the mast that's mounted on the frame. Now these would go up. These masts operate just like forklift masts. Only generally on a forklift mast, you only have one, two, maybe three. You don't generally have this many. And then it has the lift up here, which can go, raises up further out. And this style lift is very important because it allows you to work over objects underneath you. Uh, great for working over assembly lines, working over trade show booths, changing light bulbs, and those kinds of things, where regular scissor lift can only go straight up. Now, some of these newer scissor lifts do have an extendable platform, but still they're not nearly as stable or as maneuverable as these little toucans. That's why they still make them today. They have very, very good uses these days and we'll just lower her back down you can see just goes down on each section and then the bucket operator's platform goes down that way you could get on it and drive it around it very safe at that level and this is the 125th scale joel manufacturer made in spain the grove man lift the toucan man lift that was made by Grove, it is a 125th scale die cast model, fully functional. Really, really nice piece. And I just looked one up as of the recording of this video. There's one on eBay for $55 right now. Really, really cool. But these have gone up quite a bit since I got it years and years ago. You just don't find industrial equipment that easily. Generally, we find construction equipment, but these lifts and other kinds of industrial stuff, they really add dimension to our collections by adding stuff that uh, you don't see every day, you don't use every day, people don't use every day, but they do make our lives so much easier. New Year's is a fresh start. We have reflected on the past with the Grove Man Lift Toucan. Now, let's celebrate the future with how we will change that light bulb tomorrow. In 2004, JLG Manufacturing acquired Manlift and rebranded the Grove Toucan as the JLG Toucan. These new JLG Toucan lifts are updated with electric power 
for safe indoor use. Several different models are available with different operating platform heights and outreach lengths. Platform capacity on all models is 500 pounds for the operator, tools, and supplies. Designed primarily for indoor use, non-marking tires are standard on these machines to save your exhibit hall floors. Also, in their indoor use, they have an impressive 1 foot 8 inch turning radius to make getting to that burned out light bulb a breeze. JLG has the new year covered while Grove had the past covered. Maybe someday we will get an updated toy model from JLG of their toucan. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a very, very happy new year. And may 2023 be the best year ever. As part of the new year, use the link below to go over and find my vlog channel and follow along for more of me and my life. Then please go on and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. I'll see you all next year.